a home remodel from a tub to shower conversion in the bathroom. This was made possible through a fund granted to us by the American Red Cross Association and through a partnership with the City of Pasadena and Habitat for Humanity. This is a disaster recovery project. Uh, the Red Cross has been putting out grants to various habitat organizations to see what we can do as far as repairs, remodels, roofs. Even though it's been a few years since Hurricane Harvey, there's still a lot of damage. We were fortunate to be able to already have a project in place with Team Up to Clean Up. With that partnership, it gave us a list of needs that people had in our own community so that we could move forward from there. We were super blessed when uh, the opportunity came up through the Red Cross to receive these fundings to help these families. We received $100,000 from American Red Cross. You have to write a grant, I had to ask for it. So, <laughs> so we wrote the grant and then we have a specific time frame where you have to use the amount of funds that you have. We also are required to help a certain number of people with the funds that we were, we were given. So we'll be able to surpass that. We call it a aging in place initiative. So if we're helping people who had damage in their bathrooms, especially if they're elderly or wheelchair bound and they have troubles getting from a tub, we're converting their bathtubs into walk-in showers. And it, like I said, it's all part of an aging in place initiative because we don't want to have short-term fixes when you know there's gonna be some long-term need. I found out that, um, I mean, I could actually have, get some help what I needed for my mother. And I did apply and so, I got me an email saying that I did qualify and it's like, wow, it's amazing that uh, Ray, he's a contractor, he came. And so with this soap and everybody's hope that, I mean, we're converting my shower for her or us to help her get accessible into it. Because we were carrying her and lifting her, but right now, because her ankle sprang, so she can not burn no weight on her feet or legs. So basically we can actually carry her. So now it's awesome, it's great. We ended up building a bench over here on this side so that when the lady comes in from the wheelchair, it's the same height that her children can actually slide her directly over on this so that it makes it a lot easier for her to be able to take a shower. We put in a soap box, that's that big rectangle in the middle. And that soap box is for putting the shampoos and stuff so that we don't get anything slippery on the bench for safety reasons. We've got grab rails that are gonna be getting mounted on this wall, this wall here, and then on the back wall here to assist the family in, in assisting the, uh, their mother getting in. The December after um, Harvey, we got a $10,000 check from Chevron Phillips. And we knew that that was our opportunity to do something great in our community to kind of make these people feel better. We did know though that we did not have any permits and we didn't have skilled volunteers. So the best that we could offer them was to go out and do some minor home exterior repairs. Leah from Habitat for Humanity got that bright idea because you could just kind of see the light bulb go off in her head, hey, we can do more. And so that's when she contacted us. She had put in a grant to the Red Cross for $100,000. And she came to me and she said, hey, we got the grant. We can't vet the application. But if you'll continue to take applications, we can actually go in there with construction crews, real crews with real experience to make real changes in people's lives. And that's where this came. We call it Team Up to Clean Up Phase 2 because it is quite a bit different than Phase 1. Uh, phase 2, um, we've, we're continuing. Phase one stopped in September. We're, we're continuing with phase two till now. Oh, no. <laughs> but it's been hard, but hard. We see tears, um, tears of gratitude, tears of joy, um, tears of just people saying, you know what, I, I can do this now. Where before they had no hope. And now it's like, we do have hope. We can get those things. We can't totally rehab their houses. That's not what we're here for. But we can make their life better in the city of Pasadena. And that's what we're doing. 
We are still taking applications through Habitat for Humanity. Uh, they can contact us in our office at Pasadena Neighborhood Network. You'll call 713-920-7948. That, that will reach our secretary in our office and she'll take your information. Come up and get an application. Fill out that application. We're gonna ask you, you know, how much money you make, what is your disability. I just wanna thank Habitat for Humanity. Without them and them, they're opening their hearts up to our community, we would never be where we're at right now. And I just wanna thank them. I'd also like to give a plug out for Chevron Phillips, who started this entire thing. I, I don't think they had any idea that it would be rolling as it is now, but I wanna thank them for that because they basically funded our initial dream.